TOA community, what's up? Robert Linkle from trainingtheolderadult.com. I wanna to talk to you about something called the quality of life expectancy graph. This is something that I am borrowing from Dr. Peter Atia, who is a hero of mine with the amount of information and research and such that he puts out right now. It is instrumental, it is so vital to our profession right now, I can't say enough. Now he's into all kinds of stuff, but with this one in particular, I really feel like he hit something with our own little special turn on it, okay? So what we have in our chart here is quality of life versus our years of, of living, okay? Now when we're born, our quality of life is, you know, it's okay, it's not great, we're still kind of learning, but health-wise and all that kind of stuff, we're pretty good, so quality is pretty high. And as the years go on, our quality improves and it maintains and the years are living. And then we get around 50 and things start to come down. We start to have some limitations. And as we get older, we start kind of tapering. And eventually one day up in our you know 70s or 80s, we pass away, okay? Now on another side of this is uh, another very similar curve, okay? Almost identical. Everything has pretty much been the same and as you're going through this life expectancy. Everything is pretty consistent, but right at the end, we have the introduction of you know medicines and different medications and surgeries and things. And these are good things. Like I would not be here without these. So I'm not, I'm not shitting on it. I'm just saying this is something that happens where typically it's about two years where you have this little extension on life and then we drop off. But the quality of life right here, okay, you have this two year span right here where your quality is very, very low. You're still alive, but quality is not great. Now, on the, on the other end of this is something that we're shooting for, is a quality of life that consists of good hydration, good, healthy, you know, organic, whole food, plant-based, and or organic, healthy meats, and good quality resistance training, and you know, exercise daily, and good sleeping habits, and social interactions. And, and continued cognitive challenges and just a great high quality of life until a day where our body and our energies just end and we pass away. And our goal in this, and Peter breaks it down much better where he's kind of breaking down like here's your regular bit and then here's our two years of not the greatest quality. But really what we're looking at is from our quality here to here, we wanna have the highest quality of life possible as long as possible and simply die. Like just be, you know, 102 and pass away in your sleep. I always tell my clients, I want you to live till you're 104 and you just skydive that day and you, and you fell asleep and that was it. Your time has ended. Rather than our quality gets so low and then this last bit is so miserable and it's hard for people to see loved ones and those are unfortunately lasting memories for us where we don't remember the good high qualities all the time because this window right here is such a struggle and such a hard thing. And so this type of talk, this type of rant is meant to inspire and encourage you to be the blue line. We talk about that with our disability threshold all the time. You have the, glue, the, the green line that drops down into that disability threshold for the untrained, the unmotivated, the un, un, um, engaged individual that's not taking their health and their quality of life as a priority. They're just simply living, right? And or thinking, hey, I'm living for everyone else. I gotta take care of my kids and my parents, et cetera. But if you don't take care of you, you can't do anything for anyone else because you're going here, okay? And then at the last second, maybe we plug in and do some extra things to try to help you, but your quality is really poor. So what's the best, what's the most efficient and most effective thing that we can do for you is keep you as healthy, is putting the best, most nutrient-dense foods into you, hydrating well, sleeping often, okay? Getting your resistance training and getting your exercise, your daily activity, 30 to 60 minutes, I don't care what it is, just move your body, challenge your mind, engage with people, be social, you know, be the, the high-quality individual and, and pursue the high-quality life that you want. You have to make this happen. No one is going to give it to you. You have to pursue it. You have to go out and make it happen. Okay, we talk about this on a regular basis where you get to the gym and you're just not feeling it, right? I'm tired, I wish I'd just go back to sleep. I don't know if I wanna be here. And every time, every time you make yourself do that workout and at the end, what do you say? I'm glad I did it, I feel better. You went out and you took that workout. Even though you didn't feel great, you took that workout and you made it a good thing. That mindset, 
is applicable across the board gang, no matter what it is that you do. It's all about your mindset. Be strong, improve your quality of life, be the blue line.